Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Phoenix in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending their system. And their system is called the Alpha Pyroville System. So without further ado, let's crack on straight away and let's get in here. So let's have a look. There it is, all ready to go. Right, let's see what we have got. Right, oh, hello. The Alpha Paravil system is a system of planets orbiting three stars of a trinary similar to Alpha Centauri, made of the GO Yellow Dwarf Feng, G7 Dwarf uh, Huang, I think that is, and then an M6V Red Dwarf uh, Zunku. Yeah, yeah there's, there'd be a way to say that. <laughs> there are 22 planets ranging widely in size alongside two dwarf planets. Awesome. Right, so we're going to Feng first by the looks of things, all the way down here, so there it is. And that planet is extremely close to it. So here we go. Looks like a super Jupiter. Looks like it's... Oh, yeah. Okay, so... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. But there we go. So moon is hot Jupiter. Orbiting about half matter Jupiter. Extremely near the star. And you can see this guy is being scorched. There it is there. Yeah, 937. I'm guessing on the front face, that's a little hollow. Yeah, 2,400 plus. So... Yeah, that's pretty extreme. <laughs> Next up, we've got Hosto over here or who's though there he is a moonless airless desert planet comparable to size to venus little is known about who's though who's it though there you go next up we got uh, this one uh zipato oh looking a little glitchy that's a little strange it's, like it's got an atmosphere problem let's have it. oh yeah it's one of these things Ugh, that's strange isn't it when they do that there you go, that sort of fixes it sometimes. Can I get a value? Uh, let's just turn it back on, I guess. Oh, I don't know. They're really weird when they do that. All you do is just turn up the... You have to turn it up yourself, but it's a bit weird. Oh, where's the clouds? Oh, that's a bit annoying. It had clouds on it, as you saw, though. But it was glitching out, so... There it is. Okay, moving on. Oh, there's some moons as well, of course. Right, uh, there you are. It's weird when objects do that. They just do it so randomly. So see, even when the simulations pause, the numbers should stay the same. Same with this guy as well. See, what's that all about? <laughs> what is that? Look at this. It's so bizarre. But you can see it's meant to have clouds on it. But it's all to do with the atmosphere. Stuff going all spammy. Look, all funky. All of this. I've seen this glitch before. It's very bizarre. But there it is. Okay. Next up, we've got Akili. Akil. A large ice giant hosting a system of five hatable or small hatable moons and a set of rings. Very nice. Where are the rings at? Are they there? Oh yeah, there are rings. You can they're, they're hidden. If we go to uh, enhanced, you see them a little easier. There you go. You can see them just about. All right. Anyway, so moving on here. Oh, they're all going to be like it. Oh, this system is glitched. What is going on? That's so strange. Yeah. Again, look at that. Absolutely glitched out. Very strange stuff. Let's have a look at the next one out. Oh, that one's okay. Yeah, that's very strange. Very, very strange. Uh, move the next moon out from that. He's alright. Nicely done. We got Osea here. Again, glitching out. That's really bizarre. Is there some sort of attempted modding going on here? It's maybe not worked, or I'm not sure. But there it is. All the multiple moons. Next up, we got Aranka. Okay, ooh, that's looking pretty... Yeah, monstrous Jupiter. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, it's pretty wild. Alrighty. So where are we? Let's go down. A monstrous super Jupiter thought to be a fair brand of With a huge blue spot the size of Uranus or Neptune not shown. Huge rings and 15 major moons, including two Salvo and Ka'a with moons. Okay. That's the first of the moons. If we can get some all over here, we've got this guy as well. Looking good. Got this dude as well. Looking nice. Lovely jobly. Go. Again, the clouds. Very bizarre. Extremely bizarre. Not seen that much in one place ever. That's really get the odd one but a whole system full of loads of them that's a very unusual right here we are continue moving on is anything of a see if we go into anything interesting there's the one that was one of the ones of interest this one and that's why 
nice air flight conditions. I'll look at his stats as well. Why not? There you go, 97 51, pretty solid. You see, it's getting light from the other star, just barely. You can see there, very, very faint. What's the other? What was the other one we needed to look at? Uh, where are we? So we're looking for Solvo as well. Where's Solvo? Where is it? There he is. Yum there. That's the other one with interest. That's the one with the glitchy clouds. Okay. And the rest of them seem to be just more generic moons. Let's have a look. So a little other. Okay. Nice. Right, moving on. Oh, there's one. There's one out here as well. One last move. Next up, we've got Priya Bo. Uh, yeah, uh, that one. There he is. A large Trojan dwarf planet sitting at the L4 point of Aranka. It has a large moon, Jar of Jar of Warner. There you go. Nicely done. Next up, we've got Aranka. I know we already did that. What am I saying? <laughs> I went back on myself. Um, we got Sisan over here. A small moonless Trojan dwarf planet sitting at the L5 point of Aranka. Next up, we got uh, Avan, dwarf or gas giant with two major moons and a set of rings. That is the last planet around the star. There he is. Moons, I'll wait for those guys. Alrighty, okay, moving on. Barrier Centre obviously linking both of the stars up, and then over here, next star. So, here we go, the second one. Right, first of the planets here Kuzelim. Ozelim, I should say. Ozelim, something like that. Pretty hot, as we can see. A lava planet orbiting very near Hurang. It is slowly dragging against its star's corona, causing it to slowly spiral inwards. So oh dear. We got a uh, Faisa over here. Um, a hot moonless Mercury like planet that orbits it clearly close to the star. There you go. Asteroid belt here. We got Sphinx over here. Ooh. Another glitchy, uh, glitchy one there. There you go. A desert planet mu not much larger than Mars with a small moon. We got this one here, another Earth flight world. Again with the glitchiness, very, very bizarre. Bit of ring system as well. Got some moons with it. Looking pretty funky with the green there. There you go. There he is. Okay. Is that we're heading to Gryphon over here? There he is. Okay. A nicely planet with rings and a moon whose name door is a pun. There it is. And then there it is there. Okay. Next up we've got Tengu over here. A frozen high seam with several moons. A missing link between terrestrials and giants. There you go. Got some small moons orbiting very close as well. Got a little bit of an eclipse going on at the moment there. Some large ones. That like a have a look at that. What's that all about? Oh yeah, okay. Well, so I had water on it for a second. That minor object there. That one's pretty funky. Hey, check that out. Looking pretty exotic. Got Kappa. Tanuki. And Gembu. Okay. Next up, we've got a circumbinary planet. So where's it? So that's all the way. Oh, are we okay? So we've got Xylance. A large gas, a giant planet chucked out by a ranker during the system's formation and captured into a very wide orbit around the binary. It's the only object to have a submoon. Okay. Let's go to the studio. We can read it out here, don't we? There we go. Lovely. There's the lineup. There's the object it's going with. 
And there's the sub moon as well. Very nice. Okay, there you go. Oh, and there's another one as well. Over there, another dwarf minor object. And then all the way even further out now. So what's this back sensor here? What's that for? Not sure what that's for, actually. A bit something to do with this. You know, here it is. This is the red dwarf final object. Or final star, I should say. It's got quite the system around him as well. Okay, so first up we've got Ferondor here. A small planet comparable to the moon that orbits the star in merely 10.5 hours. Okay, we can go back to realistic now. We've got Odile over here. Odile. Another Venus-like planet, though, like the other inner planets in the system, it is heavily irradiated. Irradiated, I should say. We've got Zar and Manuk. Another desert planet. Another, another desert planet with a thin atmosphere. There you go. Next up, we've got Ziz. Yeah. Oh, glitchy. What's going on here? I if that messes the life stats up. It does. Oh, dear. 58.6. 95.9 on that. Uh, pretty good. We've got Ziz 1, 2, and 3. Very nice. Okay. Next up, we've got Humor. Mars like planet for single captured asteroid moon. Martlet. Then we got uh, Vid Hopnir. A ring dice shine with several moons, including one similar to Titan. That one's uh, Tetego. So there they all are. There it says hi to the like over here. Looking really nice. Have a look all underneath. There he is there, looking good. In fact, is that Methane as well? It is. There is Methane on him. Very cool. Okay. Got a few more objects in there as well. Lovely stuff. And then next up, moving on to Lamas Lamasu. Over here. Very, very glitched out as well. Bizarre. Look at that. It's completely funky. There you go. And we got two more objects there as well. Alright. Looking good. Next up we got uh Garadu. It's darkness now. Let's go to Yeah, let's close that. Go to studio again. There you go. A ring dice giant slim to Neptune with several moons. See, so they all are there. That one too. Okay. And then even further out, we've got the final object, Fora, Forabi. An ice giant that is so cold, its atmosphere clouds are, are and hazes are made of frozen neon. Oh, seriously cool. Okay. It's this moon as well. Ooh, looks like a pretty generic set there. Okay, there you go. That does it for the Alpha uh, Pi reveal systems. Anyways, guys, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to press that like button and subscribe for more help in the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And yeah, again, a massive thank you to the Creative Phoenix for sending this system. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that will send down everybody. Make sure you stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.